within San Miguel's equalizer on Sunday night was Alex Cabagnet's personal turnaround. After scoring only five points in Game 1 of the PBA Commissioner's Cup Finals Sunday, the Beermen skipper scattered 33 points, leading the Beermen in scoring and erecting a new career high in the process. The shots were just falling today I guess, the soft-spoken Cabagna told the press. It was different in Game 1, Piero like what I tell my boys, you can't control the environment. All you could control is when you're inside the 94 feet. You just do your best and let God do the rest. Dotka Bagnet scored in bunches early in the first half. He registered 10 in the opening salvo and then 12 more in the next frame, outscoring everybody from the Jin Kings camp. He went on to sustain his hot hands in the third scoring seven more. An OT only did Gabagnet provide steady hands for the defending conference champions, he also flirted with a double-double after dishing out nine assists. On top of that, he added four steals and four boards. The six-time PBA All-Star and 2015 Comeback Player of the Year was quick to note though that there was no revenge factor after having to absorb a 28-point beating in Game 1. They played well in Game 1. We played well in Game 2. That's just the ebony-ivory flow of the series, so we can't look at it as personal like that, Kabagnet offered. We just have to continue to watch extensive film and just continue to learn. I'm pretty sure there are still a lot of mistakes that we need to patch up, so we're still striving for that perfect game. Hopefully we could attain that, he closed. Kabagnet and the Beermen will get to see if they could kick it up a notch higher when they meet with the Jin Kings anew for a tiebreaker on Wednesday night, again at the Big Dome.